Yo, Wonder Bread, you got that address figured out yet? Chill, T. I'm like translating as fast as I can. I don't think Mitchell likes me anymore. I'm pregnant. Uh-uh. No. no. Stargate just got some amazing news on Amazon. One of the signs we predicted to be a precursor of Amazon greenlighting a new Stargate show would be having legacy Stargate TV as prime TV shows on the streaming platform. And without warning and as a huge surprise, that's exactly what happened. As of right now, you can watch Stargate SG-1, Atlantis, and Universe as part of the Prime program on Amazon. It's fantastic news for fans who can now digest their favorite franchise show and episodes all in one place. But after the champagne bottles were all popped and the bubbles were all gone, something deep, dark, and horrible began to grow in the pits of our stomachs. And the more we thought about it, the more we started to realize this might not be good news. In fact, this might be very, very bad news. This is turning out to be a bad day. If you've been waiting for Amazon to greenlight a new Stargate with co-creator Brad Wright at the helm, it's time to start worrying. Amazon is displaying a pattern of behavior that Stargate fans need to be aware of in light of the new Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power show. And it doesn't bode well for Stargate canon, so you don't want to miss this episode. Also, make sure you stay tuned until later, where we'll show you how Upside is about to put a whole lot of money in your pocket. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now and give us a thumbs up if you want more inside knowledge about your favorite shows. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Stargate-inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. Well, that never happened. Well, you gotta open big, catch people's attention, make them think the whole thing's gonna be jam-packed. In the video we put up on August 14th, Asking what's taking so long for Amazon to start making new Stargate, we explained that a precursor to Amazon getting the ball rolling would be for the Stargate franchise to show up as part of the Prime program. We didn't think this would happen until around April 2023 because of the current contracts MGM has with Netflix, Hulu, and Pluto TV, who still have access to the shows for several more months. But it appears as if Amazon doesn't need to honor those deals because we were shocked when they showed up on the streaming service at the beginning of September. It's good news on multiple fronts. All 10 seasons of Stargate SG-1, 5 seasons of Stargate Atlantis, and 2 seasons of Stargate Universe are up and streaming. And because Amazon has original copies of the episodes, the viewing quality is going to be better than we've seen on other platforms. What are you smiling at? Not only is the quality much better, but it is in a 16-9 ratio widescreen, so you are literally getting more Stargate. Look at this comparison between the Netflix version and the Prime version. It's night and day. Not to mention you've had to watch Stargate Universe with ads ever since the license expired with Hulu last year. And with Stargate popping up on Prime, that means Amazon is thinking, planning, and talking about the franchise. Good news for a potential new show, right? Not if you want Stargate made by the guy who created it. The guy who cares about the characters, the canon, and the rich history that comes along with 17 seasons of television. Because based on everything going on, there's a chance he isn't being considered to make new Stargate at all. But before we tell you why Amazon may be considering another direction, let me quickly tell you why you are going to love this video sponsor, Upside. Are you tired of watching the price of everything go up while your bank account balance keeps going down? While we can't control how much everything costs, we can control saving money on things we purchase. And this is why we use Upside. 
Gas prices are ridiculous, and when we were looking for a way to save money at the pump, we found Upside. We save as much as 25 cents per gallon on gas using the Upside app, and it is incredibly easy. Now we use Upside for everything, gas, restaurants, and grocery stores too. There are more than 50,000 locations that partner with Upside. To get started, download the free Upside app in your app store and use our promo code THEPOPCAST to get $5 or more back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you are buying on Upside. Check in with the business, pay as usual with your credit or debit card, and get paid. This isn't too good to be true. We use it and it works. You can earn three times more money back with Upside compared to credit card rewards or loyalty programs. Cash out to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands whenever you want. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. Download the app today or click on our link below to use our promo code and start saving money right now. You work hard for your money, so keep more of it for yourself. Use Upside today. And cut! Amazon has owned MGM for five months now, and many fans are aware that Brad Wright's pilot script for a new Stargate series was ready eight days after the sale was official. It seemed like a no-brainer for every Stargate fan on the planet. The legend who gave us Stargate is ready to keep going. Amazon, do the thing. Hit the button. Shoot the gun. Whatever. Let's get Brad's show going. Anyway, I'm sorry, but that just happens to be how I feel about it. What do you think? But after five months of nothing, we figured Brad must be working behind the scenes with MGM and Amazon, and an announcement would come any time. The announcement came during the 25th anniversary Stargate podcast Wright was doing with Richard Dean Anderson on the companion app July 27th. But it wasn't what we were hoping to hear. Brad, in a rare moment of frustration, said his script would probably never see the light of day in a passing comment. In my, uh, in my pilot script that I, I, uh, I, uh, I wrote that probably never see the light of day, probably never see the light of day, probably never see the light of day. The podcast continued on as if he hadn't said anything, but we all heard it. That frustration could only mean one thing. He didn't like the response or lack of response he was getting on his script. By using the word probably never see the light of day, it means the door isn't closed. But based on everything we've been able to uncover, we believe it is likely neither MGM nor Amazon has reached out to Brad since he completed the pilot script, leaving the show's creator as frustrated and confused as the rest of us. We believe the reason was because MGM was a mess and Amazon was still wondering what a Stargate was. Hold on, uh, stop tape. Who does he think he is? Will you tell that ungrateful little f bag to shove it up his but with this unexpected prime gift of the franchise, we now know that isn't true. So what exactly does this mean? It doesn't for sure mean anything, but it doesn't bode well either. When Amazon was first planning to do the Lord of the Rings show, they reached out to Academy Award winner Lord of the Rings director Peter Jackson to collaborate. Jackson said, have you got any scripts yet? Amazon said no, but as soon as we do, we'll send them to you. Jackson said he waited for the scripts to arrive, and they never did. The next thing we get is a Rings of Power show by up-and-coming showrunners who have never done anything before, but Amazon liked their pitch. Jackson was ghosted. Not a thanks but no thanks, or we can't because Christopher Tolkien hated your guts and our deal precludes you. Nothing. And now here sits Brad Wright, who was asked to write a pilot script by MGM, and he is being ghosted by the same people. Will Amazon give him a call and say, hey Brad, your script was okay, but here are some things we want to change? Or will they just hire the next Rings of Power nobodies because they have an entirely new vision for Stargate that ignores the rich world Wright has created? Holy If Amazon plans to move forward without Brad and his Stargate canon, then fans of the franchise should be greatly concerned. We have been told that Amazon is monitoring the social buzz happening right now around the Stargate franchise. They are aware of the tweet storms, the podcasts, the YouTube videos, and the petitions. If that's the case, we'd like to say something to the senior vice president of Amazon Studios and Prime Video, Mike Hopkins, as well as Jennifer Salke, Amazon Studios chief. Here's the deal. 
boys. If you greenlight a new Amazon show without collaborating with Brad Wright, you will lose the heart and soul of what makes Stargate great. Indeed. There is so much more to this franchise than writing a story about traveling to another world via a Stargate. And if you think you can get the latest showrunning hot hand to properly build on to the 17 seasons that Brad Wright built with his own two hands, with the help of some incredibly talented actors, writers, and producers, then you're wrong. The fandoms from shows that were once great are tired of being freshened up for the sake of new butts and seats. The 20 and 30 year olds who watch Stargate go off the air before its time are now in their 30s and 40s. They are the ones paying for prime memberships and raising the children who will be sitting on the couches next to them watching Stargate and teaching the next generation to love it as well. Don't give this away to someone who can ruin it for all of us. Let Brad and his team come to Amazon and write more badass episodes of Stargate. Now is the time to add to the show's legacy and help it grow from the garden of what was created before. Let's do something no one else is doing. Let's make a great show created by the guy who made the show great in the first place. You don't hire Alex Kurtzman when you have Gene Roddenberry. You don't hire Jordan Peele when you have Rod Serling. Now those legends are gone, but Brad Wright is here and he's ready to go to work. You don't hire anyone to do Stargate when you have Brad Wright. Please do the right thing. Science fiction and fantasy fans need a win, Amazon. This is an easy call. Brad Wright Stargate and everybody wins. Please go check out all the comments in our petition by visiting savethegate.org. Thousands and thousands of fans, future Prime customers, have signed it and left comments showing their love and desire for a new Brad Wright Stargate series. The world is divisive and dark. Shine a light on the world with the Stargate we need. What do you think? What do you think? Do you want Amazon to make new Stargate with Brad Wright? Let them know in the comments below. Also, make sure to sign the petition and share it with everyone you know. It's located in the description below. We fans can shine our own light on Stargate and let the world see. Please continue to tweet to at Amazon Studios, hashtag we want Stargate and hashtag Brad Wright Stargate. They need to know what we want. Also support the channel and check out this incredible Stargate inspired graphic design in our store. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to check out Upside in the link below. Get ready to save money for that Prime membership you'll need when Brad Wright Stargate is on Amazon. Bonzo, no longer in possession of one's faculties, three fries short of a happy meal. Wacko!